Oh, I think you're live. Hi, everybody. Hello, all of my fairy friends. Welcome. Woohoo! Okay, so I guess I'm talking to you like this for a second from the camera because I have a few minutes. We are waiting for Bjorn to show up, and tonight he is going to help me make a buffer sword here in the Fay Forge. It's the very first episode of Fay Forge, but since I have, he's running just a couple minutes behind. So I got a thing in the mail, and maybe I already opened it, but I'm going to open it again and share it with you guys because it's awesome. This is the thing that I got in the mail. It is, I can tell by the handwriting, from Count Morbid. So I'm going to put that face down because you have to always read the letter first. Here we go. It says, not a trap. Very good to know. Wow, I didn't even see that. And it says VPL. That's for Very Princess Lolly. Very Princess. Much Lolly. Since I am way, way out, out in the place of construction, I do apologize for background noise such as land dragons roaring by. VPL, Very Princess Lolly. Candy canes didn't fit, so I fixed it. I put your address in sender spot because I really forgot how mail worked. Morbid. I had no idea Morbid was going to send me this. And by fix the candy canes, he means this. Also, if you are tuning in and watching today, please smash that like and subscribe. We'll just get that out of the way right here. I actually should really just probably taste this now that, but I know what the other one is. I want to taste it too. Hi, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Bye. This is the one that I really want to taste. Aha, there he is. Hello, Bjorn. Hey, sorry about that. I had some uh, technical difficulties. My computer decided it needed a massive update right now. Yes, that is, this is, of course, the most convenient time for that. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be tasting Count Morbid's gift to me. So, I was just showing the gift that Count Morbid sent to me that I received in the mail today to everybody in order to pass time while you were here. I think that Gunther is going to embiggen my screen. So I got the Rat King, and that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I got a little Pixie Hollow uh, sign for, like, Fairy Garden. Also cool. Weird Dragon Eyes. I have no clue what I'm going to do with these. But I suppose I'll figure something out. And then the crowning item. Dum -da -da -dum. A skull with a crown on it. <laughs> that is a excellent. It, it looks like it's supposed to go underwater. Anyway, this is a very cool gift. However random. So thank you, Count Morbid. It was a lovely surprise. That mm, I'm eating this candy. Brought a smile to my face today. And incidentally to Gunther's face too because he was with me when I opened it. And we both thought it was awesome. All right. So, I am ready now with all of my things here. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Fay Forge. I'm your first host, Fairy Princess Lolly. So named because I like candy. I'm here with Bjorn, who is one of our Fairy Blossom folk. And today, Bjorn is going to walk me through the steps of making this buffer sword. So, Bjorn... I have all of my things. Where shall I begin? Um, so if you got all your stuff together, the uh, first part and the easiest part really is just uh, getting your foam attached to your core. Um, so the core, using... the core is this thing. This is my this uh, PVC pipe. Yeah. Uh, for today, we're using a piece of half-inch diameter PVC at about 33 inches. Yes. Um, it's a good, it's definitely a good core to get going with. Uh, as far as like the foam we're using, I believe, if I remember right, this is um, pipe insulation from Frost King. I think that's who this looks, is. Looks like a pool noodle. The, so the links for these guys are actually in the low bar of the video this one and it was it's quite it's quite thick thicker than a pool noodle mm -hmm. so, 
And then the other thing, I guess the other things that we need were goggles, which I guess I should put on my safety goggles before I start. Because <laughs> it's always good to be safe, play, play it safe. Okay, mm -hmm. safety goggles applied. I have a pair of at least two pairs of scissors just in case. A knife as instructed by Taryn. And then this Kraft Coleman mat. Look, mm -hmm. I'm not in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that. Hang on. I was just checking on what's going on. Okay. Because you see, he's there, and you're there, and he'll disappear. So take your mind on like No, he won't disappear. He'll get small onto the side. Do you know how to unbig in? Uh, uh, I, wait. Oh, no. He just walks off, and now it's going to be wrong. You're going to disappear, and I don't want you to disappear. And then he'll come back out here, and then he'll be angry because I'll tell him he has to go back in and make you reappear. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so step number one. This so because, because this particular type of foam has a uh, seam along the inside of it, you're going to want to uh, get rid of that layer on the inside that Ooh. prevents the foam from adhering to itself. You want it to adhere to itself right now? This is mine. Does have this? If I peel this off, it will stick to itself, right? Yeah, but uh, with the the so the inside diameter of the foam should easily just slide yeah. over the uh, they slide over your core. Okay, so do I need to put this core then all the way into the foam? Um, you want to put it to where there's about, uh, I usually do about the the knuckle on my middle finger, that first knuckle, to where you feel the uh, core with it. Wait, I don't, I don't understand. Put it all the way in, you mean? This is flush. Yeah, so you're going to want like, uh, let's see here. So you can see on there, like, that knuckle right there is touching the top of my core, and that's about how far down you want it to make like a safe stab tip. I, I can't see you because remember Gunther made you disappear and I was gonna he's gonna be mad because I'm gonna ask him to make you reappear again. Oh. So I can't actually see you. So I don't know how far if I should leave it sticking out or if I should push it all the way in. Um push it all in? the way in to where uh, it's probably yeah, down. See. Oh, you can see me? So, yeah. Yes. Like, so, my core. Your middle finger. Is in, your middle finger. <laughs> yeah. And so, and then I can feel the core with about the first knuckle being covered by foam. Okay, got it. And your fingers are probably much larger than mine. So, so now, my, now my thing is in there. And that, so I have to rip off this plastic so that it seals tight all the way around this core, right? Correct. Do you tear them both off at the same time? I do. I uh, said so there's no like right or wrong way to really do this might, step. There might be an easier or a harder way though. Uh that's that's very true. Do I tear it all the way off or just as far as that foam core goes goes in there? However far that is. Jeez Okay, here we go. And I'm squeezing it tight. So that yeah, if you want yeah, so you want that seam as flush as pot, like as like tight up to itself as possible to help prevent it from splitting during use. Okay. I just don't know where the end actually. I mean, I I guess so. Oh. I'm over here bending it because I assume that it'll stop bending right about where the end is. You yours isn't cut already. Um, Was it supposed so to be cut? Yeah, you want your foam to be at about 24 inches. Aha. Like, Uh-oh. Do I have a tape measure out here? I have so many of them, but I don't think any of them are within reaching distance of me. So I guess I have to try to shake this out. Okay, so this is this is cut to 33 inches. Okay, and it, this foam is supposed to be to 20, but how many inches? Four, 24? Yeah, so or roughly two thirds of the overall length of your core. So, aha, a tape measure has magically appeared. Oh, okay. Well, 
24, you say? Yep. That's where my foam is supposed to be cut. Get on there. Fucker. There you go. Okay. Okay. Do I need any more of this foam today? Uh, today, can we set it away out of the way? Uh, you'll need a piece what about mean? that big. It's probably five inches. You'll need one small piece okay. like this. So now, when I put this in here, where's my? Where are you? Are, are you still there? Uh, I am still here, but it looks like you might have frozen by chance. No, I didn't freeze. I just went on. My screen closed down. Okay, so here we go. So here it is. So I'm supposed to push it in about up to my first knuckle yep. and a half for me, but one knuckle for you. But then that leaves a huge amount sticking out over here. Yeah, you should have about, I don't know, for me, it's almost three hands total sticking at the end. That's about 10 inches. Yeah, that's thereabouts. Okay. So that's. Okay, that's right, but it's not stuck in place because it's quite it can move, it's quite loose. So Yep. So then the uh, next part that comes in is gonna be to tape it down. Okay. So you'll take your packing tape, which I should have prepared before starting this. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> uh, welcome to the first time being on the show. You are learning all the little nooks and crannies of doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck? So now I've got this. Now, how am I supposed to actually take this? Let's see. So if I can get a hold of this, I'll show you here. There we go. Okay, that's Well, dang it. So uh, the way you'll want to start this is you'll take a piece of the tape, like while it's still attached to the roll, and put it like to where it entirely... What the heck? Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. I cannot get this phone. I have this dang tape to cooperate. Mm. All right. Okay. There we go. Some so. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. So let me get it started here so I can kind of show you. So you'll get it wrapped basically like this to start to where you've got yeah. one full wrap around your uh the bottom of your foam okay and then okay. You'll okay i'll do that now yeah man packing tape is my my bane this stuff is evil oh i agree just anything that gets much stiffer than this starts getting really unpleasant for the receiving end Okay. And then the next step you're going to want to do is to start torque wrapping it down. So you'll take your, oh, dang it. Well, in theory, if it's still attached, you'd basically just start pulling it down tight and wrapping it down around your core. So that so. There, everything is taped in place and connected? Correct. Okay. I think I got this. I'm going to hold this in place. And then I just want to, what does it mean to torque wrap? Can you define that term for me? Um, it's just a term we use to like denote tightly taping it down. So now that hopefully this tape is going to be cooperative here, yeah, so you'll be looking at something. A little uh, yeah. So you'll be wrapping it 
like this. And you definitely, this is not a spot where you want to be like uh, gentle with it. You actually really want to make sure that this is really good and secure. It'll start to kind of um, taper the foam itself down as well like it is here. Starting to kind of form it into a, a, a cone almost. Yeah. Work. Okay. We're making these for Cherry Blossom Midsummer Festival because one of the things that happens at the Midsummer Festival is we have bumper competitions. So this year we endeavored, since we're building our kingdom army up and taking on all kinds of new people, we were going to endeavor to make buffer swords for new people just joining us and wanting to try. Thus, I am learning how to do this. That is what brings us to the show today. Well, that, and it seems like a good reason to start a new episode on the channel. So I think I've done this. Oh, I have not done this. Look how it moves like that. It's not supposed to do that, is it? No, it should be looking a little bit more like this in shape. How it, see how it's like uh, lost its original shape here, and it's kind of more come down into a cone I'm on trying. mine? Hold on, I'm trying. Hold on. Okay, show me. Can you move it to the side a little? Yeah, so... No, no, other it's, side. Oh. So see how it's kind of more tapered itself mm -hmm. down, and it's got itself really, I mean, that's. Okay. That's in place. Okay. I can do this. I mean, it might take me a minute. Okay, here we go. Good as, because who cares about the heck and tape being neat, right? Okay. Pretty much. So I for for so I got this packing tape at the dollar store. Okay, is that looking more correct? I'm doing it pretty much as tight as my little princess hands can get it. Yeah, just uh, make sure with each pass you're getting closer and closer to the core, so that way the last like three or four wraps all definitively are on your core material. By core material, you mean the PVC? Yes. I hope I'm doing this better. I'm literally pulling it so hard that my cheap dollar store tape is stretching. Uh, the, the stretching and the popping lets you know it's working, is how I was always told. This thing over here is super in my leg. Okay. Man, do you remember the first time you ever did this? Did yours look as terrible as this is going to look? Uh, I used an entire roll of packing tape. It was not pretty. <laughs> I think I'm going to be following it in your glorious footsteps. <laughs> I was just... This is... Oh, so not pretty. Oh, your first one never, never is. Uh, I mean, I've had the luxury of building hundreds of these things over the last 10 years, so. Uh-oh. Sorry. I totally bumped my bumped my camera. Can you see me still? Uh, I can see your hands, but it doesn't look like they're moving. Are they moving now? Uh, not on my end. Really? What's happening here? Oh my gosh, what's happening? There we go. No, where are you? There you are. Okay. I'm having trouble with my screensaver turning on when normally it doesn't. Okay, that's definitely way more in place this time. It's not exactly super rounded, but it's kind of rounded. Um, I mean, same here. Mine's <laughs> mostly rounded. Oh, my gosh. 
you know how in human lore they talk about the devil? Well, I actually think that that's just some sort of weird word from human languages that actually translates to packing tape. Hmm. All right, so go ahead and uh, it looks like you've got a couple of good wraps around your core. So go ahead and snip that off. Where do I, just anywhere? Just, okay, here we go. Yeah, just make, make sure you leave yourself a little bit of a tail. On the wrapping, the, the tape on the tape? Yeah, because uh, now we do the exact same process, only in the opposite direction. Oh, oh exciting and fun. What's happening here? There we go. Ah! Oh my gosh, the world is falling apart on me. I'm sorry, I'm here. Uh, okay, I can do this. Leave myself. What? Do you oh, leave myself a tail on the roll, not on yeah. the. Got it. Okay, I was. I just was not following you there. I thought you meant leave myself this tail, and I thought, what am I supposed to do with it? But oh, sorry about that. All is now clear. Okay, here we go. So okay. you should notice that it's a little more, a little more affixed to the core, a lot less likely to. Yes. Slide out. Yes. Much more. Yeah. How like a... hmm. Well, I kind of affixed it with not as much length that C member, but now that's I barely can even get that. Do I have to redo it or does that matter? Um, it just means instead of having you you'll just have more of like these little foam pucks on the end of it that'll be a stab cap to help prevent injury from being poked by the core a little too hard. Okay. Okay, so now the next step is to the, do, I'm gonna watch you do this here really quick. Okay, so I'm watching. All right, so the last wrap, I went um, this way with it. I came towards myself, but or away from myself, and I'm gonna go towards myself. Basically, just put the spiral in the opposite direction to and help go, stick it to the core. And go all the way back up to the foam, like, like where I started. Oh, uh, no, start on the foam and then work your way back down just in the opposite direction. Oh, my gosh. I don't even remember what direction I just. Now, what is it supposed to be doing it like this? Can you explain to me the thinking that goes behind one direction and then the other? Um, mainly it's just to help secure the foam so that way if the tape starts to come loose or tear one direction it's got tension in the opposite direction to kind of prevent it from coming free because one of the worst things you can have happen that i've had happen to me while actually fighting is you cock back for a swing and the whole foam section of your sword goes behind you <laughs> it's, i mean I don't mean to laugh, but I do at the same time, because that sounds really kind of hilarious, and I'm sorry that happened to you. I wish I could have seen it. Oh, it was fantastic. It happens from, from time to time. Weapons do break down, so it's just uh, something to be aware of, so that's why I always tape it down both directions, just that way I know it's there. I'm sort of finding that it's kind of it's kind of easier to tape it kind of like you do when you have, have sprained an ankle, sort of. Like, maybe mm -hmm. at this angle where then, like, you, whoop, when it's not tangly like this. But it wants to, because you're tapering it, oh, my gosh, I can do so much back in tape. It wants to do this angly thing, which kind of makes it easier to bring tape it down in place, actually. I hate pack packing tape so much. I really do. Why did I agree to do this? Why did I think? I would love to learn how to do this. Why? Because I didn't know. That's why. I didn't know that I was going to have to touch this stuff more than is inhumanly necessary. <clears throat> I can't even remember. What, I hope I'm going in the cross direction because I can't even. You didn't tell me to pay attention to that, so I didn't. Now I'm not even sure. Okay, here we go. Sure. I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying I, I have no idea. I hope I'm doing it right. I mean, oh, so you still there? You're a little broken up on my end. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm right here. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Uh, for the most part. 
Okay. So I can hear you for the most part, but it looks like your screens stopped moving again, at least for me. Huh. I can see myself. <laughs> so maybe it's just a weird orgy thing. I'm not cool oh, enough there. to have whatever the newfangled G is. Yes, I'm having problems. What are you doing, Ben? See? Problems. It was a night. Oh, okay. That would be the sound of the door. No, no, no. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, yeah. is it too dark now? No, it's not. Okay. Good. I mean, I'm yes, you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this. You went the wrong way. No, what? I was watching you. Well, I tried. <laughs> You're just saying that. You're just messing with me, aren't you? No. Nope. I mean, yeah, but no. I don't believe you, Gunther. Do you want me to do this then? No, I've got it. So what am I supposed to do then? Nothing. Make sure that that doesn't go black. Um, okay. For real. It's, it's, a, it's been a thing. Okay. Now, there, I did it. How does this look? Um, Looks good, I say, and especially if it, you know, doesn't wiggle like this one where it's, like, like you stuck on there, you're good to go. I mean, it might do that after a long time of bashing around with it, but... She's good. Okay. She's all right. I got it. Okay, next. All right, so the next step is you need a little square of the... Flat of uh, the rolled up camp foam you have. This this one. Yeah, just a little square that's just one layer thick. Okay, and how big should this square be? Give me other scissors. Um, just big enough that it'll fit on the inside of your core, like so, like on, on your foam. So. Can I see what you're doing? Oh, yep. So you should be able to. Where's my camera? You should be able to just to stuff that little bit of foam down inside of it like that okay. and it gives you a little bit of cushion from the, the core itself. Half inch, remember? Yeah. Can you hold that straight really quick? Mm -hmm. No, we'll set it down. Mm -hmm. it sliding. What is it okay? Because human things are evil. Sometimes. Human things are evil. That's true. Sometimes. What's Sometimes. the time? Be okay. nope. For now. Maybe. Okay. It's your job to keep an eye on it. Okay. Aw, oh, man. All right. I totally did not leave myself a tail on the minutes. tape. Okay. So cut out some squares and shove them down into that hole. Does it really matter what size of squares we're talking about? I mean, other than must fit in hole? Uh, not really. It just needs to fit in the hole. You need a couple of them so you don't hurt it. People, when you thrust with your tip. Okay. Mm -hmm. me too. Ha. Actually, I was ruining the cameras. Yes. It didn't work out well. You're a very good tech troll. I try. Two, what do you three, 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 three. Three. Cut it there. It's trust me. I can't. It won't work. It will. See? Now it'll be too small. So cut it in a third. I, I am. And now the other ones are too small. No, that's okay. Right. Okay. So I'm shoving it into here like. Am I doing this right? Yeah, Shoving it into here like this? Like, yes. This, hurt. yes you're doing right. this hurts my fingers. That's why I came out here. Oh, man. This hurts my fingers and so you, bad. Yet you won't let me do the thing. Why don't you look at the camera and I do the thing? Because I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, okay. That's a horrible reason. Now, I can only fit one in there you because it's, I mean, I can fit another one, but it'll yeah. scooch out the top. Sure. Like, uh, that'll be all right. You, know, you should smile more if you want. Okay, that was almost a smile. Growl <laughs> <laughs> at you? I mean, he's, just, he's very straight faced. <laughs> I don't even think. I okay. Let me use my hands. My hands are stronger than yours. I've got it. I can do this. No one's questioning if you can. You are. No, I'm not. 
I'm saying let me do it. You but I haven't even done it once. Therefore, I'm going to do it the first time. And that's why you, you were supposed to build your own. You are a delicate princess. Yes. And next time, I'll let you do all the heavy lifting, but not on the first time. I'm learning how to do it. Thank you. Okay. Now what? Uh, now we grab packing tape again. You know, your favorite Thompson. human substance. Wait, what are we doing? Sorry. Packing tape? Yep. And then you're going to take the tape and you're going to put it um, on the top in kind of like a crisscross applesauce. Like a crisscross pattern to okay. hold it in. And then do I want to still taper it as tightly as possible? No. Like, no? Okay. No, you want it to be relatively circular shaped. Okay. I lost the dang end of my tape again. Ah, see, isn't that the worst? No, no, lower. By, by my finger, but not on my finger. Okay. <laughs> tight? No, he said not tight. And so you want to tighten it up that it's not going to come off, but not so tight that it like deforms the uh, right. end of the buffer. Okay. Wait, please wait. I know you're very excited to use sharp things, but you need to wait. No. Oh. Okay, now, now once I've done crisscross applesauce, then what? So the next step will be to... Do I only do to, one? Uh, well, just for like this initial piece, yes, because then now we're going to take our packing tape and we're going to start at the bottom down here and come okay. all the way over and up to the top and back down to the bottom. So we're firing okay. up then down, huh? Wait, yep. I'm doing in a straight line. A straight line. Okay. Yep, the so that's straight. Do I go over the top and back down again? Yes. Okay. And a really kind of important part just for um, the sake of making sure everything stays kind of uniform is trying to prevent the tape from wrinkling up on itself. Because okay. then you'll get edges and stuff in your tape. Yes. Okay, I got slight wrinkle, but not a lot of wrinkle. Oh, uh, as long as it is not like adhering to itself, that's fine. Oh, okay. If it's like it'll get a little crinkle in it, it's good. But if you start getting it to tape to itself, that's when you're going to start running into a couple of problems. Okay. Uh, the tape is wide enough. You should only have to do this like two times. How many? Uh, once each direction, just to get a solid layer of tape all across the, uh, the foam. So what was that? Uh, that was my toe. What's not your toe? Okay, and so I'm just doing crisscross applesauce with this again too, right? Yeah, so that the back end of it or the, the finished step of this will look kind of like that where you just have one continuous layer of tape across all of the foam or well, most but of it. All of the foam to be covered, is that what I'm going for? Because if I am, I probably need to do three instead of just one. If I'm um, just putting Do you Sorry. want the overwhelming majority? Like if you have like a small strip like like this right here where it's just a really thin sliver that's not covered, that's okay. Okay. Maybe I should I don't know. Okay, over the end, and then back down again. Okay. 
That is, it makes the same sound as me trying to pull up my pants in the morning. I have no answer to that question. None at all. Okay. No. Cut this. Okay. So now I'm done with this part. Oops. Okay. So then. Okay. Next step you're going to want to do is just put a layer of tape just around the base of the, the pieces you did to make sure they don't start peeling up backwards. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. This is probably the worst podcast to listen to because we both with your tape. <laughs> uh, but the finished product will be so much nicer because when we're all done with our live stream, eventually I will make it pretty and have voiceovers. <laughs> because that is what I do. Okay. So now I have taped it around so that the tape will not come back up. All right, then. So at this point, we should have... An exposed end of the core coming into our tapered foam up the tape blade to the little piece here in the center that helps prevent your uh, your core material from coming out the end. Yeah. So next you're going to take yeah just like that you're going to take a couple of little pucks like this of mm -hmm. uh, flat foam and you're going to round them off to fit on the uh, end of your stick like this on the end of your buffer to create a little bit more of a dense not dense, a more padded stab end. But that's, that thing that you just had was square. It wasn't rounded. Oh, well, I figured I'd round it during the oh. stream instead of being completely mm -hmm. prepared. I can take my sword and I can put it on here like this and like cut around it. Is that what you're wanting me to do? Yes. Okay. That's easy. Got it. Got it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. to get you to You're trying to backseat direct. I can go. Oh, that's a horrible circle. How many do I need of these? Mine, not yours. Um, no. no. <laughs> For yours, <laughs> two would probably be fine. Okay. Um, if we need, we can always check uh, after all said and done for this step to see if you need a third. Basically, it's going to be when you have both of them on there, if you can feel the core or not. Okay. So there's a little test to do to see if you have enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's basically step, step dump for it. I got to get out of here. Okay, so here we go. So this, and do I have a pen up there on that shelf anywhere? Oh yeah, you got. Uh, no. no, yeah. Wait, where's here. the snail pen? I'm working on things. Okay. The snail pen is right here. Right here. Ooh, Sharpie would be better. Yeah. Wow, where'd that come from? Uh, from, from my, my box. box. <laughs> Magic box behind us. I'm going to make a loud noise. Okay. Don't hate me, guys. Sorry. Ooh. And I just drew all over my workbench. I did that too. What is that? Some weird piece of foam. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Get these all cut out. And so these are going to be taped onto the end. And then once I... Have you taped yours on already? Uh, no, I was waiting for for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm. I mean, I'm a, a little bit slow, but I appreciate your 
patience. I've been looking at armor because, you know, now that I'm making myself my very own sword, sort of indicates that I'd better get out there and use it. Definitely. I found a place that will do pink leather for me. Well, that'd be nice. It'll be light, too, much lighter than what I use. You'll actually be able to, you know, not die of heat stroke, so that'll be convenient. Well, if you have died of heat stroke and come back to life, you look fantastic. Fabulous, darling. <laughs> now then. <laughs> All right, so what do I do with these? They are not perfect. I assume that's okay. Oh, I yeah, mean, I mean are... Yeah, okay. Blob-shaped. <laughs> so you'll... You can do them one at a time or you can do them both at the same time, but you'll basically get them stacked up on top and you'll run tape down each side like we did with the original piece we put on the end of the foam. Yes. And then you'll want to run foam around that tape down mark to make sure that they stay there. Okay. It doesn't have to go all the way down the side of the sword, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Just, I mean, down yay far yep. would be fine. Hmm, okay. Yes, a very technical link. Yay. Look, <laughs> <laughs> uh, measurings for perfectionists. Okay, here we go. Okay, where is there? I said the top. I'm going to just. It's all cut this way. It doesn't matter. Is it better to do them one at a time or two at a time or um or two at once? Um, like it's more secure if you do one at a time, isn't it? Uh, you can do them definitely one at a time. I tend to do them two at a time, um, mm -hmm. but I also over I tend to over tape my ends a little bit. I instead of doing just one crisscross, I usually do about six, just to really make sure it stays in there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to spin one, two, three. Will you please hold the tape so I can don't hold? Yes. It's kind of both. There you go. need glasses. Do you need glasses? No, I have my own. That's why I can take both of Okay. So my reason is in order to get them on there quite tight, it's kind. It does kind of round it off at the end. Is that okay? Yeah. The uh, the the main thing is just that as long as it's uh, maintaining, um, it's two and a half inch. Uh, oh, okay. Cross section. And the main purpose for that is to prevent it, like if someone is to be struck in the face, to prevent them from uh, getting hit too badly in the eye. Uh, if you give okay. me, I do apologize. I dropped something real quick. I'll grab it. Okay. Okay. Last one. You're good. I know. I'm just trying to keep this You're good. so people can see. Oh. Okay. What'd you do? That's crazy. Why would you do that? Shush. This is too low. Okay. Does your ears hang low? Do you want to do Okay. There we go. And now I have to go around it, so I need some more tape. Okay. I'm going to do this one. We'll get the, get the roll. So we need to start. And then. You must be really good at packing. You must be really good at packing. Well, I am, but still. So, uh, no, I'm just going to keep going because you're supposed to cover the ends so that they don't beat up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. You're good. I know. I know. Why are you doing this? 
so I can see how it looks for everyone else. It looks good for everyone else. Does everyone else get for Princess Lolly a thumbs up? <laughs> Dark. They all need to know. She needs to know that she's doing good. Maybe blasting their ears out. I might be blasting their ears out. I'm trying to talk to the tape. Yeah, exactly my point. Okay. I feel like you just laminated it. Well, I don't know. Uh oh, we lost Bjorn. That's what. Yeah, no, he he said he dropped something and had to pick it up. No, I mean we literally lost Bjorn. Oh well, you're gonna have to go. I know. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. All right, ladies and germs. So I guess I had to add this on here. This is the extra couple layers of this Coleman camp, rest easy camp foam that I put on here in order to make it safe for hitting people. So this is actually turning out okay, I guess, for my very first one, not terrible. I mean, that, that's probably more packing tape than anybody ever, you know, you can shake a pointed stick at. But uh, yeah, so the goal this year was to make several of these for people who wanted to come and try out, do tryouts to become squires in the kingdom army. And so I was learning how to do it so that I could then uh, teach Gunther and Gunther and I would then make these for trials. And I suspect in the future at some point at some event, maybe at our harvest fest, because we've decided the Harvest Festival needs to, uh, should be workshops and things like that. So maybe we'll have a workshop on how to do this so that people can learn then and there in September. So any, anywho, this is this is a 33 inch piece of one, one half inch with PVC pipe. And then this was a, not a pool noodle, but you, I guess you can use pool noodles, but this is a particularly thick, with a match, almost a matching core, a half inch matching core. And it, I think he said it was a pipe foam. And this is really, really, really long. So I actually, looking at this, so this piece that I've got from the land of Amazon can actually make three swords. And I cannot remember how many human leaves it cost me, but there is a link in the low bar for you guys if you want to buy these things. Uh, for yourselves. So it was this, it was the Coleman Rest Easy, this camp thing. And uh, right now there appears to be more than enough of that to do tons of these. And then of course, a pair of scissors, tape, this pen, Sharpie, if you need it, knife. Like okay. Not, I, don't, I don't even know. He's back. Okay. Hi, you're back. Are you back? Yeah. Yay. Bjorn, can you hear me? He's there. Uh, Bjorn? I am. I'm not on mute. Hi, guys. I guess we're having maybe technical difficulty? I'm not sure what's happening. I see the top of his head and the corner of an eyeglass, but that's all. Okay, so... This is some garbage, I'll put it here. It's the very first one of these that we've done, and I'm hoping to do some more Fae Forges. I like working on these, working on these things and learning, learning new skills and other such things. So I think, I think maybe Bjorn is having some technical difficulties. I'm not sure, it looks like I've lost him again. So we'll go ahead and wait. Did I show you guys everything that was in the Count Morbid box? I should I should not have done that. I should have waited. I should have just done the one thing, just in case this happened in the middle of the stream. Hi, everybody. My face is too big. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, if you've been watching this from home, I would super like it. If you were just like, smash the like and subscribe button, maybe bing, ring the bell. What? I have a leprechaun now in the background. Apparently, making foam swords is interesting to everybody. I've never made any. Please do not come out no, here actually, and tell yeah. me how to do it. That one is looking great. 
<laughs> Every Gunther keeps trying to do it for me. Yes, because you're doing it wrong. No, I'm doing exactly what I'm being told, and you're not doing anything. So you know how that saying goes: don't let any, don't let people who aren't doing anything tell you how to do, how, tell you how to do something. Yeah, no, that's not true. See, now I, yes, I yes. no, that's to, actually a quote. That is true. It's totally I, a quote. I was trying to do something, but you wouldn't let me do the thing, so I didn't do the thing. What? Probably next time I tell you what to do the other Probably if we ever get him back, come back, Bjorn. and I need to know how to finish. Isn't it supposed to have some kind of a, mm -hmm. yeah, so like maybe another piece of this, I guess. Yeah, I told him, I told him to hurry up. And he's not, not, not hurry up. Uh, yeah, Okay. Let, let him yes. It, it's looking we, good. We need a hacksaw. Where is he? I don't know. Can we get a hacksaw, though? I have a hacksaw, but it's not here, out here. Hmm. Um, can you send him a message and see if he's okay? I, I, yeah, hang on. Hang on. Okay. I, I'm sending messages now. You're what? I'm sending messages now. Can, can you put a banner on the screen that says BRB technical difficulty so that people know? I mean, yeah. Well, he hasn't been here for a minute. Wow, where'd this come from? I don't even know. What? Who is this for? Who's um. I'm finding all kinds of important documents on my floor. If you wonder what's going on. I'm super sorry, everybody. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe his battery died because he was unprepared. Unprepared. No, he's looking at things. I think he sees a message now. Okay. That's good. Good sign. Good sign. So this here, I'm just going to show you guys because this is my super awesome snail pen. Because I'm waiting for Bjorn to come back. So... So this is this a handmade pen that was from one of our fairy market merchants last year, and it had a little snail on it. With where's my here? I'll do this. There we go. Had a little snail on it with a little jewel in his eye. He's got his little. And she made. I got this one, and then I got a cool hummingbird one, as well. And so the end of it was this ballpoint and that comes out so that you can replace it when it runs. And this is, I came out here to set up for tonight and I found my snail pen. I was very excited. And that's about how that story goes. I'm so sorry. I feel like I should be entertaining you guys with a jig or something. Do you want to dance? I to dance? No, I would just, I would just like to make sure that Bjorn is okay. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah. he hasn't responded to me yet, but he has seen the thing. I don't know if he's actually seen the thing. This candy cane, we are from Camp Morbid. We are going to determine what flavor it is. I was going to, that was my candy cane. I claimed it. No, you didn't. I mean, I tried to. No, you didn't. I said I tried to. I asked you if you wanted them, and you did not answer. And so now I, I'm. I looked at you and I said, is it blue? No, you didn't. You didn't even know if there was a blue until I showed you. That's why I mm. asked. That's blue. weird. It's coconut flavored. Oh. I mean, it's better than having a candy corn flavored candy cane because that would be gross. Or imagine if it was popcorn and butter flavored. Ugh. Disgusting. I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, like when we had all the, the, the flavored sodas from Leavenworth. For the time that I got all of the peep, the flavors, and Princess Ladybug and I uh, roasted them alive on the fire to see what what uh, toasted flavored peeps would taste like. And that was pretty funny. So I guess that, uh, oh, excuse me, the word from Bjorn is that his phone, his <laughs> microphone, back. 
has overheated. Is he back? He's back. Yes, he's back. I Hello. Don't know us. That's a, so sorry about that. This uh, the stream overheated my streaming device. So. <laughs> yes, the magic mirror was unprepared for what you were the rigors of what you were to put it through this evening. That is, it happens. All right. Okay. So I, I got my thing all wrapped up like you said, just like this. You want me to switch it back to the other ticker? You don't like this one now. Hmm? Do you want me to switch it back oh, to the yeah. other? Yeah, original. All right. Okay. What do I do next, Bjorn? Tell me. Show me the way. Bjorn. Uh, can I can him? kind of hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, I what do I do next? All right. So now that we got the tips on and they're secure and the foam is taped down the length of it. The next step is going to be just to add the pommel. So that's where the other small piece of foam we had from earlier comes in. What small piece of foam from earlier? Nobody told me to cut that. Uh, How long? The be? extra, like the extra. Oh, oh you mean this small uh, piece of five foam. Five inches should do it. What was that? Uh, How long should it be? Uh, about five, uh, four to five inches should be about the right size. Okay. Well, I'm going to do four and a half to be happily right in the middle. What did you do? You froze it Sound. again. Why did you do it? Okay, and we're back. We can do magic. So how's everybody doing? Is it good? Okay. Now I've got my four five um, inch end here. It's and it's also sealed from earlier. Man, it's so uneven. I feel like it should be, you know, sanded down. Yes. Okay, now what do I do? I put it on the the other end, down here. Yeah, yeah. We'll basically kind of be doing this process in reverse. Something that might make it easier for this step is to um, take this piece of foam and basically taper it down a little bit. You can either do that by cutting it spirally, or okay. you can just basically shave four quick chunks out of each side. Um, can you show me what you did? So when you say when you say so take my scissors and then just kind of trim the edge off here. Yeah, like you can basically, give me a second here. Um, just for the, the torquing part of this, this makes it a little bit easier just to um, have it kind of pre-tapered a little bit. Okay. So something, something, uh, that's, oh no. Is that, is that tapered enough? Or is that not enough? Uh, it could be, say, something kind of like this effect where I've just got four chunks that are slanted a little bit. It lets it, it makes a transition from the main body of the foam oh, to bit... this part a little easier. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm terrible at this. Oh, it's your first time. You get better with more practice. That's how everything works, right? Practice makes habit. <laughs> so, uh, so they say. Okay, that's. I guess that's. Now, the tapered part goes on the bottom, right? Like this is where the taper goes. So. So the taper, the taper portion of it should be um, like facing the other taper portion like this because basically. Okay. Do I want this to be flush now on this end or do I still want this one to also stick be in like that? Uh, you still want this one to have the, uh, good Lord. The you still want that, this one to, yeah, the knuckle spacing like that. Okay. Whew, knuckle spacing is so difficult. It would be an easier way to do that. Uh, yeah, probably. 
Um, I'm sure you could if uh, you could probably do some kind of a dowel rod to give you a consistent spacing. Um, I've always just used my finger as a uh, oh god, don't do that as a um, reference point. So I guess that it's it's not that part that's hard. The part that's hard is keeping it at the right length while you're trying to tape it. Mm. I mean, I don't know how you do it, but that is kind of to be a significant challenge for me. Um, usually, like I'll leave my finger there through a good portion of the uh, process. Oh, oh, wow. You I must have use it as like a serious manpower on yourself to be able to do that. I cannot do that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no! No, don't lose my corner! Dang it! I did save it. I think it's kind of in play. Okay, here we go. So now... We're holding the vegetation. I got it. We're trying to... What? What happened right there? Why did I get to do that? Because it happened to be on a reel. The... <laughs> and now it's just now it's my turn. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you have to understand the the trials and tribulations of making these, and don't get cocky. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not You have to be cocky. You just told me not to be. Can I, you make up your mind? I told you not to be. But Who's the princess here? That's you. Well, yeah. you're changing your mind enough to be one too. I, I've been hanging out with you too long. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'd have to second that. <laughs> I mean, you can. That's fair. Uh, I mean, I got to buy brownie points somehow. My streaming device crashed in the middle, so. Are you trying to move into the castle? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, everyone needs a groundskeeper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can trim the hedges. That's fair. Wow! <laughs> you just relegated him to trimming the hedges. I mean, uh, do you even know the words that are coming out of your mouth right now? I mean, it's it's, it's really Morbid doing it. But you tell him to do it, he just doesn't do it at no, all. Morbid has his own garden gnome, and that is not a joke. <laughs> I have met his garden gnome. That's, that's not surprising. Actually, his garden gnome gave me some very beautiful flower petals because it runs in the family, I guess. That. He, no, the garden gnome's father is uh, oh, okay. Is a connoisseur of rose bushes, and so now, how does that look? It mm, looks like it's too really freaking smooth. twisty. Yeah, you're twisty. You're Why? Right. How do I stop that? Oh, you're wrap it the other way. way. Yes. Okay. I remember. <laughs> yes, I did this lesson. I was I was in I was in class this day. Okay, so I was just going like this, and I need to go like this. Okay. That's the same way. No, way. I was just going like this. So now I'm going to go like. If someone rewind the video and tell us which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you just. There's like I was go just going like do, this. Do however you want. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you're yours. I'm sure you're yours. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm seeing this. Hold so on, right? I'm sure you're right there because you were doing this. Thing. I'm hitting. No, anymore. Is it in the right place, man? You know. Okay. It actually is really. I'm thinking of this earlier because it's super hard to hold it. And I'm thinking earlier that it sure would be nice if I had a, a, one of those grips that you put something in and you. It's called a vice. Yeah. Yeah. A vice grip would definitely make that a little easier. What was that? I say a vice would definitely make it a little easier, I think, for you. I have C clamps. I don't have any vices, though. Let me get one. You can put in I have C clamps. What is a C clamp? It's a C clamp that clamps down. And okay. you can, you can, 
I'm going to show you later. Like this. I think I'm going to use this full thing of plastic tape. Well, you get a torch and there's another one right here behind you. Yes, well, I guess that's like the thing that you're supposed to do on your very first one. Oh, wait. That, wow, putting a cross tape like that sure does do the trick. That's a nifty little trick there. <laughs> you know many other things that probably works well for, too. Making fairy princesses not talk? So is it looks like you're probably good there as long as it doesn't twist back and forth. That's what well that's what I was trying to make it stop doing was twist back and forth. So um It's good. I mean mostly it doesn't. It's good. <laughs> but we'll go over it again later. No, we won't. Okay, we'll never do this again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, so now I've got it as good as I can get it, I think. Now what is the next step? All right, so once you've got your, once you've got your uh, pommel put on and affixed, you're going to want to do the same thing you did with the tip and uh, do it with the put, bottom, huh? uh, put the little blue foam bottom. in the bottom of this as well. Okay. You know, if this was solid, how would that affect – how, how would that affect too much? Um, if your core was solid, uh, apart from it being really dense and it's going to carry a lot of momentum through in a shot, it would also make the buffer a lot heavier than really is necessary. And so it hurts people it, more. It's It has the potential to. Yeah. But, you know, being smaller than somebody your size wouldn't it be handy if mine were stuffed with something that because there's no way I could throw a punch nearly as as like, rough as you like maybe a roll of dimes a roll of dimes <laughs> so I was thinking beans like pinto beans um, kill somebody there's no way I'm getting two of these in here I just want to be fine. And as far as like stuff transferring through the, through the like the inside of the core, that could be again potentially dangerous because it could. Mm -hmm. I say in someone's smaller hands, you know, it might not be as potentially dangerous. But if for like the uniform sake of building, you put something that can transfer weight mid swing in like minor Gunther's hands, it could cause quite a bit of injury to the receiving party. And you wouldn't know, and so you make them this way so that any person can pick them up and use them without having to worry about that. Okay. So now I do the same Correct. thing. Correct. It's all. Board. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, it's just all about like uniform safety because the the main the main thought behind the construction we do for these is safety. So that way, anyone from you know a you know a five foot nothing, hundred pound person, all the way up to what has gone through like six four. Six, six five. He, he's a troll. He's six nine. <laughs> yeah, so all the way up to six nine, and however much a troll weighs, can all swing it with usually about three a relative okay. uniform and safety. So now I do the same thing here over the end, right? Like I, like I did on the top one. I put the tape up over the like this over the end. Yeah, you'll do your crisscross taping over the end, and we'll also be doing the. The cap step as well. Cap. Oh yes, the cap step. Okay, so I need two more pieces for the cap. Uh, you should only need one for the the pommel because you're not going to be striking anyone with the pommel during like the normal course of a of a fight. Hmm. Okay, so I got that on there. Okay. And right. yeah, uh, yeah. I have to trace it, but yeah. Oh no! Ah! Ah! I fixed it. Okay. A little more. Okay. 
yours. Okay, tight, but not too tight. Firm. Firm. Mm. And then I'd like another piece. Mm -hmm. So now that's. Down here. Look and see. Yeah. One more piece. One more piece. Actually, that's pretty well. One more piece. Yeah. I know. Now I'm going to go around it. Because I go around it again now, right? Just like before, right? Like taping it down so that it doesn't come untaped. Like taping it down. Okay. Like before. Correct. Like this way, right? Yeah. Taping it down so that it doesn't come untaped. Like before this way, right? Uh, sorry, what was that? I go, I go around it now this way to make sure that it doesn't come untaped on the long ways, right? So, like this? Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What? There's wild things? Wild things. Okay. Okay. I am done with that part. And now I put the end on the end. Okay. Yep. Oh, wait. These things do go through quite a lot of quite a lot of tape. Did we lose you again, Bjorn? Oh uh, yeah, it looks like we did. I will go like Okay. Uh, I would guess that overheating is probably what happened again. That's okay because now I have to, just like I did on the top, I have to cut this out. It does not have to be perfect, so just kind of get it mostly in the shape that it, it will be for the diameter circumference. I don't know, something like that of the pommel. So then this is going to go on the bottom here. I do not like trying to hold these things in place whilst trying to tape over them. So unlike I did last time, because I found it to be quite difficult, I am just going to tear myself a piece of tape, do the roll over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to do this because ultimately I'm going to tape over all of this. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, to have a piece of tape there on the inside. And then I'm going to take yon sword and I'm just going to stick it right on there, roughly centered. Point, point. And then I am going to tape over it again, like I did last time. So because I do not have someone to hold my tape, I'm going to first measure this out. That way I don't have to keep doing keep going about it. So I guess I technically only need two of these to go crisscross applesauce. So I found that three actually covers the circumference of my weapon. So I'm going to use three. You can probably line that up, I'm trying to keep as many wrinkles out of it as possible. And over the top, down the other side. There we go. And now, let's cut it from the top. Jordan looks like he's intently watching you. Down the other side. He might even he's be critiquing judging me. and judging you. Yes, he's completely judging me. That's okay. I mean, I would judge <laughs> me too. So this is my last piece of tape, and I'm just going to roll it again here like this. I'm kind of keeping it lined awesome. up here. Because ultimately, when I'm done with this, I'm going to wrap around again so that these don't come off. And I don't want that to start up here. I just want it to start on the wide part. So I'll put it over. Oops. I've got a little, little piece of spare foam stuck in that one. Okay. Here we go. And I can probably trim that. Make it flat. And... Now I will start, uh, so, and then I am, I've got that right, right? Just like before, we tape now from the top down around to, to make sure it doesn't come untaped. 
So, there you go. Ay! This I is how like things Gravity is how things fall. That's okay. I mean, I own many things about human science, and I have learned that much. We're going to take that one more. Okay. So now, this is good. Nice and even around here. And now when I'm done with this, what do I do? Just cut it off? Yeah, just go ahead and cut that off because it looks like your pommel's fixed in pretty good. You got your uh, the foam cap on the end of it. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. And... Now that's all nice taped in place. Now what? Um, now it's pretty much complete. All that's left is you, you need to get either a sewn fabric cover or you can use something like nylons to go over this and then you just can tape it down or tie it off however you want. And then some people will add like hockey tape to the um, handle. I don't do that. I prefer just nothing on it other than the core itself. But yeah, that's the basics of building a buffer. Nice. Well, I have we learned so again. much today. So, yes, okay, yes. I see that. But now that we're basically done, this is the final product, you guys. So, I mean, not the final, but it's the final product before we have to put some kind of fancy cloth cover on it so that it doesn't look, you know, like that. So, but this is essentially the finished sword. And now we're going to go and give it a try. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. If you are joining us today and you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. We will of course be back, not tomorrow, Saturday. We have a hedge game tomorrow. There's a link for that. If you'd like to join us, it's on discord. The link is in the low bar. And also we will be back on Sunday for handmade home shopping. And that will be from 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you guys there. Have a good night, everybody. And enjoy your dinners if you haven't eaten already. I don't even know how I'm supposed to be off of this thing. But I guess I, I, I mean, I've never done it from, from here. <laughs> so I don't have my normal button.